Marhaba. Welcome to my home and welcome to my kitchen, Matbach. Uh, today I want to teach you how I make granola. And granola is something that my family loves, homemade granola. So I thought it would be fun, Muntia, to have you join me in the kitchen today. So let's get started. So the first thing that we start with, the foundation or the base of our granola is uh, oats or our oats or oatmeal. So we have a bag here. I'm gonna pour in about 10 cups of oats or oatmeal. Then uh, we put in about half a cup of brown sugar half a cup of brown sugar. We put in about one cup of flaxseed meal, which is ground flaxseed, ground. So it's called meal, flaxseed meal. About one cup. Have some sliced almonds. I have some walnuts. Mm, let's see if I remember walnuts. Is it Lowe's? My walnut. Joe's. Josie. Joe's. My walnut. Calbi, Calbi. Okay. And then we have more sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. So I think almonds is Lowe's. Lowe's. Maybe, mumkin. Okay, so we'll pour in these, these almonds. We'll do a cup of those sliced almonds and then um, a cup of walnuts. And then I put in about oh, one cup or so of coconut, coconut flakes. And I think these are unsweetened, so no sugar, la sitka. A little extra, never hurts. Cinnamon, and I like to put in about a tablespoon, one tablespoon of cinnamon. The best, the best. The cram craisins, cranberries, um, apricots, you can use raisins, you can use any dried fruit. I put these in after the um, granola bakes in the oven. When it comes out of the oven, then I add my fruits. Otherwise, if you bake it with the fruits, the fruits tend to get real hard and too chewy. And we don't want you to break a tooth. Okay, so let's go through the list, through the recipe and make sure that I remembered everything, okay? So 10 cups of uncooked oatmeal, ow, oats, oats, one, uh, let's see, half a cup brown sugar, sitka, and then it calls for one cup of honey, honey, is this al sal, asal, something like that. Um, so we will put one cup of honey in a pan, in a pan with butter, butter, all right? So, you know, I'm just gonna kinda mm, do that. I'm not gonna get that dirty. I'm gonna wing it, I'm gonna wing it. To coin a phrase, wing it. And uh, which is quite daring for me because I'm a recipe follower. But the older I get, the more I realize life is too short. We need to live dangerously, adventuresomely, adventurously, and uh, just do it. And then my recipe calls for one and a half cups of butter, which is in the pan already. One tablespoon cinnamon, which I, I got the cinnamon, cinnamon and uh, ground flaxseed. So we got that, the ground flaxseed. And 
And let's see, we have the sliced almonds, Lowe's, and the coconut. Um, okay, and then, oh, it looks like, hmm, maybe we need a little bit of oil, quarter cup canola oil or vegetable oil. Let's see what I have here. Maybe about one fourth of a cup or one quarter cup. This is a half a cup, so it will be half of this for one quarter or one fourth of a cup. Okay, that's good. And that uh, will help the granola to be a little more crispy with the butter. Crispy, crispy, crunchy. All right, put the oil away and let's go through our list coconut oh vanilla one tablespoon vanilla so this is vanilla vanilla i think in arabic don't you say vanilla or is it something else okay so one tablespoon Okay, put that in with the butter and the oil and the honey, asal. I really don't know how to say honey, so if I'm saying that totally wrong, please be nice to me. All right, oh, we forgot salt. Salt is important because it gives it a little bit of nice flavor. So let's find the salt. Maybe like half a tablespoon or so, maybe like that much? Oh, maybe that's too much. Hopefully that'll do. And now we're going to put the butter and the honey on the stove and melt that. So let me turn the stove on. Okay, so let's mix this up. This is my favorite part mixing it all up and I I'm a little bit OCD about mixing things my husband says that I mix things too much and I also am OCD about tapping things well once this is all mixed we'll put the granola onto the two sheet pans okay, a little bit more Stir that up real well. My husband, Josie, will be happy, Saeed, because he loves granola. And I have not been cooking very much lately. I've been making English videos for you. So, and my husband is so gracious and kind. And uh, so I thought, you know what? I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll make cooking videos so my husband will be happy with food. And then you'll be happy with them um, to be able to practice your English. Cookie sheets, here they are, cookie sheets. 12 by 17, 12 by 17. All right. Okay, and then what I do is I just give the pans a little gentle shake. This way, do the cha cha, do the cha cha. I think these are ready to go into the oven. So I'll be back when they come out of the oven. Okay, so the granola came out of the oven and I added the craisins or dried cranberries as well as the apricots, apricot, dried apricots. And we just stir in the fruit, the dried fruit. You can also add raisins or our um, dried cherries, any, any kind of dried fruit. And, um, and then just let it sit for an hour or two until it's completely cool. And then store it in an airtight container. I might store mine, um, put some of mine right, right back into this container. So hope you enjoyed uh, joining me for my session making homemade granola. Take care. Ma'asalama.